University. The term itself has something of an enlightening effect on the mind. Many students, both young and old, flock to these institutions to strive at attaining that degree that will unlock their door to their dream job. But what if I told you that research shows that one in five of these eager learners drop out of their courses within the first year? While this may not seem like many, from a class of over 500 students, you can see why it's something of an issue in a world where a tertiary degree is becoming a prerequisite for many career paths. The 2013 Good Universities Guide ratings provided an interesting insight into the dropout epidemic. Universities in high demand showed low rates of students ceasing their studies, despite low levels of educational satisfaction. So is it really just all about the university? One student, Anastasia, has changed between both QUT and UQ and is now studying back at QUT. We asked her on her thoughts of her experiences as to why she has switched between the two. In terms of UQ, that also turned me off the uni itself. It was huge and there was no help coming in and I didn't really get that at QUT either, but it was a lot easier because everyone else was starting new. But going to UQ, I started second semester and just had to pick up all my own subjects and pick everything myself and it was yeah, it was a bit daunting and it's a lot bigger uni than QUT. Do you think that there's a stigma attached to dropping out of your course? I find it quite common among my friends to have dropped their degree and found something different. Um, my brother's done it, a lot of my friends have done it, my sister did it. Um, it's pretty common. So changing courses seems to be a likely alternative to what the figures are showing amongst the students themselves. Socially, it appears that this doesn't seem to affect the students as there is a support base that helps the students cope with the changes in their study plans. Kaya, who is studying a Bachelor of Fine Arts, is also considering a change in her tertiary course. Yeah, I might not finish this particular degree simply because I'm finding it a bit useless at the moment because what I'm learning is pretty much very commonplace stuff, things that everybody in society would generally know. So I don't feel as though it's worth the money for this course when I could do it without the degree. Do you know anyone else in your course that has or is considering dropping out of their studies? Not anybody that I know of in person in my course, but I do know a few other friends who have come with me from high school to uni who are thinking of dropping out. Do you know what their reasons are for doing so? Most of their reasons for dropping out are simply through financial burden. Very similar to my situation, we've come into it without parental assistance, with scholarships and such. So a few of my friends that have run out of scholarships have ended up dropping out because they can't financially continue at uni. This financial burden students carry on to university is phenomenal. Many students are forced to drop out of their courses due to financial reasons, regardless of their academic performance. Commonwealth scholarships, university bursaries and government higher education contribution schemes are sought after to help relieve the stress of this burden. However, an inquisition conducted in 2008, referred to as the Bradley Report, found that current levels of income support are inadequate to support the participation and success of students from low socioeconomic backgrounds. Do you think that getting a scholarship is critical for you for finishing your studies? For me, the incentive to start my degree was 100% with the scholarships because I didn't consider uni until I got them. Uh, to continue the uni course, another scholarship would be very, very good, so I'm reapplying for the equity scholarship. But other than that, I'm going to have to rely on Centrelink and getting a job to, in order to continue, which is one of the reasons I'm thinking of dropping out. I just can't financially do it without my parents. So as we can see, financial security and overall university experience are big factors when considering whether or not a student will continue on with their tertiary studies. If you're reconsidering your study options, we recommend that you visit your institution's student service or counselling facilities in order to get some professional advice about your study options. If that's a bit too full on, look at chatting to your course coordinator about changing your study plans from full-time to part-time. Remember, it's your future. So look at what's best for you in the long run and seek out help wherever you need it. It may bring that door to your dream job one step closer.